I've played dress up, but I'm still Dr. Lindsay Doe, clinical sexologist and host of this Sex Curious show, Sexplanations. Let me start by saying that makeup, nails, getting these lashes on is hard work. It's art, engineering, and skill. I tried for hours with multiple people to put all this together and still managed to come out looking like sexy Chucky. Kudos to anybody who does this every day. What is that? Let's take it all off. We're going to disassemble this and unpack what it all means, starting with lipstick. Evidence of lipstick goes back 5,000 years ago to what is now Iraq. The lipstick was made with crushed gems to show I'm fancy. In ancient Egypt, lipstick was an all genders product for protection and healing. Cleopatra, nicknamed Golden Lips for her blowjobs, not her lipstick, wore deep red from smashed bugs. All genders were also glossing their lips in China circa 2000 BCE because it pleased the gods and smelled good. The Kama Sutra, written in India around 200 BCE, guided readers on lipstick application to increase attraction. Roman men wore it as a status symbol in multiple colors, red, orange, magenta, and black. Roman women wore it for fashion. The ancient Greeks used lipstick as a mandatory uniform for sex workers to distinguish them from the ladies, which I imagine was awful because the lipstick then was made with sheep sweat and crocodile feces. A thousand years later, with a different recipe, Queen Elizabeth inspired pro-rouge fashion, and she shaved her head. She had many suitors, but guarded her sexuality, her power, and her throne, dying the so-called virgin queen. 200 years later, her successor, Queen Victoria, shunned lipstick's use, calling it our version of catfishing and slutty. There was a similar attitude in the US. Lipstick was viewed as an evil mouth paint used by witches to lure men into marriage or kill them, which was kind of valid because lipstick of the past contained all sorts of toxins, mercury, lead, arsenic, added to the prohibition with alcohol. And introduce lip biting. Mm. In the 1940s, wearing lipstick was more prevalent than women brushing their teeth. It was seen as patriotic. Give the soldiers something to hope for. A 2010 study of lip color found that attractiveness of contrasting lip shade to one's skin tone may be attributable to its association with oxygenated blood perfusion, indicating estrogen levels, sexual arousal, and cardiac and respiratory health. Makes us think of a healthy fuck. Lips that have been vigorously stimulated or stimulating. Lips that mimic the lips, the labia of the vulva. We're gonna take this shit off. I earned it. Off with the lips. Mwah. Lip smacking. Good. Nails. Like lipstick, nail polish also started with men 5,000 years ago in modern day Iraq. Men wore nail polish like tiny flashes of war paint to ward off their enemies. Archaeologists have found Egyptian mummies from the same time period with dyed and bedazzled nails, surrounded by even more nail polish in their tombs so that they would have it in the afterlife. 1600s Chinese aristocrats, all genders, supported five inch long claws to express, I don't have to do shit. And then they kept it that lazy way by bracing their nails in splints so they wouldn't break. You're definitely not gonna finger me. In 1878, New York, Mary Cobb designed her version of a professional manicure and opened the first nail salon. She co-invented emery boards with her ex-husband and became one of the most successful female-owned businesses in the world. The 1960s saw a resurgence of nail polish leading to all these rainbow fingers. David Bowie, Lou Reed, Kurt Cobain, Johnny Depp, Bad Bunny, Seal, Brad Pitt, ASAP Rocky, and Anderson Pack. Tyler the Creator, Machine Gun Kelly, Little Yachty, Steven Tyler, Mark Jacobs, Paul Clyde, Little Nas X, Evan Mock, Sean Mendez, Joe Jonas, Ben Platt, Troy Savon, Brooklyn Beckham, Jared Leto, Keith Richard, Pete Davidson, and Snoop Dogg. Woo! In the midst of all this manicuring, the lesbian community used an odd painted nail or two to signal I'm not straight. They were femme flagging or finger flagging so that despite not looking the way that one might think a lesbian, bi, or pan woman might, this is how you know. Or it was until it was appropriated by everyone else with two bottles of polish. As of 2022, another trend called the red nail theory riled up TikTok with the idea that people can manifest their lives. Manifest. The red color was touted as the color choice for those looking for relationships, sex, love, and passion. White meant single and looking, light blue in a relationship. This is called a French tip manicure. I'm gonna try and get them off. Bye. Eyelashes. Ah. Back to ancient Egypt, where again, all genders are wearing makeup. 
black coal around their eyes and on their lashes. Some historians say it was protection against bacteria, evil spirits, and or the sun. Pliny the Elder, early Roman philosopher, wrote, It is said that sexual excess causes them to drop off not undeservedly, as in the lusciousness of your lashes correlates with your sexual activity. More sex, fewer hairs. So depending on the message you want to send, pump them up or pull them out. Oh, Pliny. Oh, Pliny. Pliny! During the Dark Ages, 400 to 1400 AD, body hair and accentuation of it was considered unattractive, so they took off their lashes and eyebrows. Ah! That one didn't feel good. Then you have Queen Elizabeth I and her trendsetting ways. Remember, red lips, red nails? The people also wanted to emulate her exciting red hair, smearing berry juice and soot everywhere, including their lashes. Whoa, let's take this one. Ah! Oh, the freedom! Oh, who's this sassy lady? 1200 AD, the world-renowned poet Rumi wrote, your eyelashes will write on my heart the poem that could never come from the pen of a poet. Powerful. Let's really get in here with the boobs. Ready? Because you guys are up next. Last one, padding. You may have noticed that my tiny titties are now burgeoning bosom. That's because I have all sorts of things stuffed in here. And two bras. Historically, people have used all sorts of strategies to add volume to various parts of their bodies. Padding their chest, their shoulders, buttocks, injection to fatten up the cheeks or lips. And for a long time, there have been heels and or entire soles to increase our height. The codpiece is an aesthetic that exaggerates the penis. We're going back to the 1500s. Men wore stockings like we wear stretch pants today. Avoid underwear lines, no pockets, everything smooth. To urinate, there was a hole in the front with a flap for modesty. But sure enough, penises still popped out. <laughs> it has wings. To keep their genitals private, men would pad their fronts with cloth or cod, meaning cushion. Then they started storing valuables in this crotch cloth cushion. So tailors turned it into a full on pocket called a cod piece. Until the cod pieces got so big, they were canceled. In the words of Charles Panatti, who taught me a lot of this, a penile fashion that promises a woman more than a man can deliver is bound to disappoint. Some of you may be disappointed. You miss my other hair. That's okay. I hope that this new hair is a reminder that the way in which we express ourselves is very transitory, if not personally, at least throughout history and across cultures. Ready to come out? You got a pad and a sock and a, we've got bras going on in here. Freedom! Cosmetics, what we do with our teeth and hair, how we dress, none of it is intrinsically gendered or sexual. We make it that way. Oh. <sighs> I shaved my head out of curiosity. My daughter dyed it because she could. And I usually choose not to wear makeup because it takes time, it makes me sneeze, and it perpetuates the idea that I need something on my face to teach you. I don't. No more than you need to look a certain way to learn or stay curious. But if you like it or you want to, go for it. By the way, you can get this necklace, which is also a vibrator, at lovecrave.com backslash Lindsay. I'll put a link in the description. Please get yourself one. They're fabulous. It says stay curious in my handwriting. It has four different speeds and it heats up as you use it. But check this out. You can charge it with a USB port on your computer. Mm, the sex of appearance. Thank you to all of you on Patreon who made this madness possible. Sexplanations, Patreon, support us if you're able to and don't worry about it if you can't. It'll always be free to you. <sighs> Sexual seduction. Have you ever seen me cross my legs? Never. Should we just femme every day? We're gonna every day nail polish, wigs, dresses, makeup. It's a punk a punk. I'm allergic to makeup.